Welcome to Jinx. This is an athletic program that has produced 185 state championships. More than Broken Era, Owasso, and Union combined. Trojan football has won more state championships than any school over the last 30 years and is quickly becoming one of the top 50 winningest programs in the country. A football tradition that has produced four Hall of Fame coaches and 145 All-State players, the most in state history. What do you say we get this party started? Charges for life! Welcome visitors to Allen Trimble Stadium. This is Jinx Trojan Football. Welcome to another season of Jinx Trojan Football. Coach Keith Riggs along with me, Don King. Glad to have you with us along with our producer, Mason Prince, in what is year 32, I think it is. Wow. We started this thing back in 1993. <laughs> with Ron Lancaster, and it's good to have Coach back for his seventh season. Coach, congratulations on a, a big win over Santa Fe Friday. Thank you. Uh, it was a big win. We got off to a good start uh, in the game and, uh, you know, a lot of positives to take from it. Yeah, no turnovers, only two or three penalties. One of the cleanest games you've had, uh, I go back to 2011, 2012, so that's quite a while before you had any turnovers in a season opening game. Yeah, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of positive. We executed really well. Um, you know, really pleased with uh, many of our position groups, how they performed. Certainly we have things to get better at, but you always do after that mm -hmm. first game. Beating Santa Fe 48 to three. We'll come back and look at the first half highlights next. Rock Canyon Grill, where flavor steals the show. For comfort that elevates. For service that captivates. You need the team that innovates. When your family's comfort is at risk, call on your home team. Innovative Air Pros. Trojan head coach Keith Riggs has now been on the football staff for over 20 years, helping Jinx to 16 of their 18 state championships. There's another Jinx success story just around the corner from Allen Trimble Stadium that has over 20 years of experience, and that's A-plus roofing solutions. Let David and Christy Watson and A-plus show you why they're considered a championship team. You might not be aware of the recent storms damaging your roof, so call A-plus and let their family take good care of your family. Call A-plus roofing solutions at 918-GET-ROOF. Roof. We get set for the first half highlights brought to you by Bill Knight Forward and of course Bill Knight longtime TV sponsor. Let's take a look at the first half highlights between the Trojans ranked number two in the state and number five Edmund Santa Fe. Maybe a little extra adrenaline flow in there. <laughs> Zach Cox shot a missile back to uh, Owen on that very first snap. Uh, great recovery by Owen and to get it out to uh, Samaj. KD Jones hanging in the block. Nice throw out here um, to Samaj again. Uh, you know, you don't see it here at the highlights, but uh, you know, we're, we're more up-tempo this year, no huddle, um, and the kids have adjusted really well to that. Uh, nice throw there over the middle to Samaj for a first down. Good blocking out front. Yeah, very nice up front. Uh, good block by our receiver there, Nate Domek, and the score by KD. 23 yarder and the extra point by Noah Carter makes it seven to nothing. Got caught there peeking in the backfield. The quarterback had a little longer than we would like, but uh, big play by Santa Fe there. Uh, the running back, Demarius Robinson, outstanding running back. Uh, he's going to be their leading rusher, career rusher, by a long ways before uh, his season's over. Uh, we give up contain there and get outside. 
This was a big play though. Uh, Sam Stone from the backside ran it down and pushed him out of bounds. And uh, you know, that's, that's gonna be the difference in uh, giving up a touchdown and, and giving up a field goal. But huge play by Sam uh, and great effort uh, to get him pushed out of bounds there. Yeah, it gave up a 43-yard pass and a 32-yard run, but after that, you really shut them down. Sam Stone doing a nice job there. <clears throat> um, defensively, you know, the last few years, they've done a great job being very resilient, uh, playing the next play, and uh, we certainly did that there and forced them to, to just kick a field goal. Huge block there by Riley Kester um, on the kick out. <clears throat> He's number 69, move in from Sand Springs. There's Domek with the catch. Nate had a big night, uh, four or five catches, I believe, mm -hmm. on the night. Uh, big play here to uh, Malachi Dillard uh, on the post for this next score. Nice throw from Owen. That uh, covered 51 yards, so just under four minutes to go, first quarter up 14 3. Delgado is their quarterback. He, moved, he was the backup at Union last year. Got a few starts last year uh, when their starter got hurt, uh, maybe three games. Mm -hmm. So um, has a little bit of experience uh, as a starter. And I think, you know, just, just a sophomore, he's gonna get better and better. Another nice run there uh, by KD, who had a big night, uh, over 200 yards total offense, um, rushing and receiving. Great recovery there again by uh, Owen and to get the ball out to uh, KD for a first down. What makes him a good receiver, Coach? Because he's about as good out of the backfield catching the ball. You know, he does a great job, not just like on swing passes and screens, but, but downfield. Uh, he's got great um, vision and, and great hands uh, running full speed. That's, that's really rare in a running back. Trey Mays, the backup with his first touchdown. He had a nice preview, too. He, he has had a great summer, and uh, Jeremy Smith has done a great job with our running backs, and uh, Trey included, and uh, you know he had over 70 yards rushing yeah. on the night, so um, great night for him as well. Jeremy Smith, of course, a great running back at Union, had the all-time lead against Jinx as a career rusher, but this Robinson kid had a chance to break it the other night and uh, the defense held him in check. Uh, we tried to use that as a little motivation for our <laughs> defense. Um, I think after the night he had in our first game last year, they were still, uh, many of them still remembered that. Right. Nice play there by DJ Carter on the uh, wide receiver screen. Really pleased with our offensive line. Um, Again, no position group was perfect on this first game, but uh, they really did a great job opening up some holes and getting a good push on that uh, on the Santa Fe front. 52, the left tackle is a newbie. Javion Anti in the right, uh, the guard 69, Riley Kester a newbie. Um, Zach Cox at center returns. Jack Wiltshire is out with an injury, so you have some other guys, uh, Malik Craig and others, uh, filling in on the offensive line. Yeah, Malik did a great job. He's a little undersized, but he's a great technician. He does everything the right way, and, and that allows him to get in there and mix it up with guys bigger than him. Defensively, I felt like we played better and better as the night went on. You know, we did give up, uh, I think, three plays over 20 yards. Mm -hmm. Two of them were in the first drive. Um, but uh, they really settled in and, and had a, a really solid defensive night. Number 30, Blake Whittington making a play there earlier. Yeah, you forced Delgado can never get comfortable in the pocket. You forced him out of the pocket quite a bit at the end of the first half. So the Trojans are up 28 to three. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half highlights. When you've got to spend some time away, there's no better place for your best friend to stay than Woodland West Pet Resort. With 17,000 square feet of fun, you can both take a no guilt vacation Relax, both of you. Pick up a new skill. Chow down on some well-deserved vacation food. Make new friends. Have a spa day. And finally, come home to your best friend. Woodland West Pet Resort. Sit, stay, and play. Located next to Woodland West Animal Hospital off Highway 75 in the Jenks exit. 
Craving delicious tenders or crispy fried chicken? Hit the Waldo's drive through open seven days a week. Locally owned and operated in Broken Arrow, 71st in Yale, and coming soon to Owasso. Waldo's makes lunch and dinner a breeze. Waldo's Chicken, fast, fresh, delicious. If I was to describe this sandwich in one word, I would say magical. Hi, this is Jamor, and the little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich is that extra oomph. I go back and forth from the spicy filet to the original filet. Personally, I get into the sweetness of the honey. That's what hits first. Then you have the extra kick from the spicy filet. And then you also have the spice of the jalapeno peppers. The combination alone takes it over the top. It's award-winning in my mind. Real customer paid for their testimonial. So the Trojans lead 28-3 to at halftime. Coach, what was your message to the team? Well, you know, it was a good first half, but we weren't done. Mm -hmm. You know, we needed to go out and, and finish the game like we started it and, uh, you know, feel good about the entire game, not just a one half or a few series. Yeah, good point because, uh, again, this is the cleanest season opening game the Trojans have had since 2011. No turnovers and only three penalties in the first game. We take a look at the second half highlights. The, knee, the uh, super fans dressed up in their neon Friday night, the Palm Squad. It was a great atmosphere. Friday night had the F-16 flyover. Yeah, that was that was huge. That was really awesome. Uh, Clark Carricker there with uh, a big hit coming down from the safety position. Uh, did a great job filling in at uh, safety. Just a sophomore, but uh, played didn't play like it was his first mm -hmm. uh, playing time in high school. His dad Brent uh, Trojan from a few years ago. Again, yeah, another nice open field tackle there by uh, Clark. Red, can, uh, go ahead. Red Pangburn, uh, number 60, starts at the defensive end. He had a nice game, first he start. He did, very first start. Uh, hasn't been playing football for very long. Started playing football in ninth grade, so his ceiling is still really high. He's still learning the, all the nuances of the game, but Boy, it gives great effort and it does everything you ask from him. Came from the swimming program of all things. I don't know that we've had a swimmer jump to the football program. Luke Turner could have been. His dad was the swimming coach, but I don't think Luke was a swimmer. <laughs> uh, another throw catch to uh, Nate Domek. Really nice run here by KD to get in for the next score. So the Trojans on a 20-yard run midway third quarter now up 35 to 3. Got a sack there. I believe that is credited to Rhett Pangburn there. Great job by the whole uh, front line. Boy, KD runs hard. That is, uh, that's Mays. Trey Mays yeah, there, yeah. Mays. yeah. Uh, really nice run. He had some very nice runs, lots yeah. of broken tackles and uh, gained some tough yards as the, the game wore on. 12-yard run there. Here's KD with another 24-yard TD run. His third of the night. I think that was a career high for him in, uh, in rushing yardage, too. 187 yards. Back on defense, picked by uh, Sam Stone. Great read there and uh, get the ball back for the offense. Hmm. Of course, his last interception was in the state championship game a year ago. He had the pick six against Bigsby. Another catch by Nate Domek, and then Trey Mays finishes it off for his second touchdown. Trey is a senior, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Noah Carter, uh, unable to convert the extra point, fumbled snap on the hold, so it's 48 to three early fourth quarter. Starting to get some younger guys in here, some valuable experience. Um, every rep those guys can get, uh, you know, late in these games, you know, one of these days they, they may be called, mm -hmm. you know, the, the guy in front of them may, uh, 
may uh, get an injury and they've got to step in and so reps like these are invaluable. Owen Jones had a nice game Friday. Uh, very nice game, you know, very efficient, threw the ball really well, um, and no interceptions, you know, no turnovers. That's always huge in a game. Yeah, no kidding. And then uh, you mentioned Domex uh, receiving, leading them in receptions. KD with nearly 200 yards rushing, but over 200 yards in total yards, catching the ball out of the backfield as well. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about this 2024 team and look ahead to a Wasso. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Ford. When you buy a vehicle from us, your transaction doesn't end when you drive off the lot. That's because all vehicle purchases come back by the Knight Advantage. This includes a lifetime powertrain warranty on all new vehicles, a six month, 6,000 mile warranty on all used vehicles, and a low price guarantee. These exclusive offers help make your car buying experience easier and more affordable. And that's why we're Oklahoma's number one Ford dealer, Bill Knight Ford, home of the Knight Advantage. If I was to describe this sandwich in one word, I would say magical. Hi, this is Jamor, and the little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich is that extra oomph. I go back and forth from the spicy filet to the original filet. Personally, I get into the sweetness of the honey. That's what hits first. Then you have the extra kick from the spicy filet. And then you also have the spice of the jalapeno peppers. The combination alone takes it over the top. It's award-winning in my mind. Real customer paid for their testimonial. Red Rock Canyon Grill, where flavor steals the show. Our pets are more than just pets. They're our people, our family. And when they get sick, we want them to be cared for like family. At Woodland West, pet care is personal. We care for your animals the same way we care for our own. As the most comprehensive facility in the Tulsa area for everything from diagnostics to treatment, you can trust that our team of compassionate veterinary experts are delivering the care your animal deserves. Your pet is always there for you. Let us be there to keep them in good health. Woodland West Animal Hospital. Welcome back to the Jinx Trojan Football Show. It's a pleasure to have our first guest of the year. Our player is Zach Cox, number 61, in the starting center. Three-year starter, Zach. Um, I don't know that there's a player, not just Lyman, but player on the Jinx team over the last three years that has made as much improvement uh, going forward as you have. What do you contribute that to? Yeah, I think just through my whole career, I think I've just had really good coaches push me to be better, working me in the classroom. I think that's where my strengths are, just smart and mm -hmm. being able to know everything I need to know, you know. Uh, Coach Greenwood back coaching the offensive line. What do you like about him? Yeah, I think I definitely like his energy a lot. He pushes us really hard, and I think that's the best for what type of offense we run this year. And um, He's also a very good technician, so I think my technique's definitely gone up a lot this year. I, th I would say your leadership ability has been a, a strength for you as well. You've got two new linemen coming in this year. Really, you're the only returning starter on that offensive line with Jack Wiltshire out. Um, so talk about your leadership and incorporating the new guys onto that offensive line. Yeah, so I definitely think there was a learning curve coming to Jinx, like with a different program, mm -hmm. and I think once they got in the classroom, they started working out with us and stuff like that. They definitely started to get used to how we run it here. And then especially like helping them like after school, mm -hmm. like getting in the classroom, working on plays. Once they started, once it started clicking, it definitely became a lot easier to, now they're like, they're leaders with me now because they know everything as much as I do. Yeah, so. only three penalties in the game is one of the cleanest season opening games Jinx has had in a long time. I know that had to be uh, a plus for you guys Friday. Yeah, it was definitely nice to not be penalized as much. I think that comes with the technique that we've been learning a lot and how fast the offense moves. There's not a lot of time to like get set up and just like jump offside, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Your older brother, Will, was a, a very good player here, uh, played at Davidson. Uh, what did you learn from him growing up? No, like watching him play all throughout my childhood, it was like definitely like a big part of my life and just watching him lead the team, it definitely stuck in my mind like how we should lead our team. It's like, it's just like kind of cool to see just like watching him grow up 
stuff like that. Yeah, and of course you've had an offer from Washington and Lee, a school in uh, Virginia. What do you know? What you want to major in when you get into college? Yeah, I'm looking computers, computer science, maybe, maybe computer engineering. Yeah, I'm definitely more into that side of stuff. Yeah, got a big game against Owasso Friday. What do you know about them? You know, they're a tough team. They they play really hard. Their defense line is pretty good. It's going to be tough for us. If we do everything we need to do, I think we should win. All right. Well, congratulations on a great start um, and, and a great career, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come back and get a preview of Owasso with Coach Riggs next. Trojan head coach Keith Riggs has now been on the football staff for over 20 years, helping Jinx to 16 of their 18 state championships. There's another Jinx success story just around the corner from Allen Trimble Stadium that has over 20 years of experience, and that's A-plus roofing solutions. Let David and Christy Watson and A-plus show you why they're considered a championship team. You might not be aware of the recent storms damaging your roof, so call A-plus and let their family take good care of your family. Call A-plus roofing solutions at 918 get Roof. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Ford. When you buy a vehicle from us, your transaction doesn't end when you drive off the lot. That's because all vehicle purchases come back by the Knight Advantage. This includes a lifetime powertrain warranty on all new vehicles, a six month, 6,000 mile warranty on all used vehicles, and a low price guarantee. These exclusive offers help make your car buying experience easier and more affordable. And that's why we're Oklahoma's number one Ford dealer, Bill Knight Ford, home of the Knight Advantage. comfort that elevates, for service that captivates, you need the team that innovates. When your family's comfort is at risk, call on your home team. Innovative Air Pros. Craving delicious tenders or crispy fried chicken? Hit the Waldos Drive-Thru, open seven days a week. Locally owned and operated Broken Arrow, 71st in Yale, and coming soon to Owasso. Waldos makes lunch and dinner a breeze. Waldos Chicken, fast, fresh, delicious. Thanks to Zach Cox for being our uh, player of the week. What uh, experience he brings to that offensive line and, and leadership? He does, you know, had a great junior season. Uh, has some great leadership qualities, you know, such a good kid and a great student, you know, um, and uh, he has. He's taken those new guys under his wing and, and helped them learn uh, what we do and, and uh, it's awesome to have kids like Zach in our program. It's always interesting, Coach, uh, to watch uh, players like Zach who had an older brother uh, play because they kind of learn it seems like quite a bit about this program or the expectations growing up watching their older brothers play. I, I think it does make a difference, you know. They're uh, at a bit of a distance, but they're, they're involved in the program even before they get mm -hmm. into high school. And uh, Will was another great leader, uh, very different personalities between <laughs> Will and Zach, but uh, a lot of the same qualities as well. Let's go over the positions uh, briefly uh, for those that might not know some first-time starters in the in the secondary. You mentioned Clark Carricker coming up as a backup role. Played really well at safety at Ace Gilliam. DJ Carter played a nice game. You've got some guys in the secondary that played pretty well. Uh, we did. Had a very solid night. Uh, Caleb Dillard at, at the other mm -hmm. safety position played really well. Um, you know, as Zion Castleberry uh, got some time at corner as well. So, uh, really feel good about our depth and uh, our guys at, at the secondary. Cooper Shockley, the other starter in the secondary. Then at linebacker, you've got Sam Stone, a returning All Stater, uh, Jace Hager, Jack McAnally, and uh, Blake Whittington backing them up. So, you've got a good linebacking core. We do, you know, Brody Henderson, who, who uh, got dinged up early in the game uh, as well, and uh, Zach Fisher, who mm -hmm. can play all four of those positions. So, um, you know, wealth of experience. Uh, most of those guys are seniors and, and have been through the fray the last couple of years. And then your defensive line with Pangburn coming on, that's probably a work in progress, but I was impressed with the pressure that they put on the quarterback Friday. Uh, for his first start, did a great job, yes. Uh, Luke McAnally, who you don't think is a sophomore because he mm -hmm. played with as a freshman, uh, did an outstanding job at nose guard. And then Cash, you know, uh, 
who's added about 35 pounds from last year. Looks very different, but uh, had a great game. He was uh, at the Saturday OSU South Dakota State since he's verbally committed to South Dakota State. On offense, your offensive line, we talked about Zach Cox with his leadership. You also look at uh, a couple of new guys. Talk to us about Javion Anti starting at tackle. Uh, Javion came to us, uh, moved in to the district this summer, and uh, what a great kid, you know, great work ethic, um, has really worked hard to learn what we do. Uh, really big kid, he kind of stands <laughs> out when he's standing around all the rest of them, but uh, really pleased with uh, his progress and how he's fit in. And then another move in from Sand Springs, who seems to have a motor about him, number 69, Riley Kester. He does, he, uh, you know, he's kind of what you look for in a, in a prototypical lineman. Uh, Great, nice guy off the field, a little bit mean on the field, and uh, you kind of love that out of your linemen. But again, uh, really hard worker, done everything we've asked. On the receiving core, you got Malachi Dillard. We saw him in the highlights, Nate Domek in the highlights. What do you like about your receiving core? Well, just our overall depth, we've got a lot of guys. You know, coming back from last year, we didn't have a lot of guys that had catches mm -hmm. from last year. Uh, certainly, Nate played a little bit, but. Uh, uh, you know, so not a lot of experience, but I really like um, the number of guys we got that we feel can go out and get open, and uh, we'll, we're going to try to take advantage of many of them as possible. And then uh, the player that really makes this go is the quarterback Owen Jones and the running back KD Jones. Talk about their improvement uh, from uh, year to year. Well, um, Owen just uh, playing with a lot of confidence. He's very comfortable now, uh, and uh, you can just see it in his mannerisms. And uh, you know, Coach Wilkinson has, good, has done a great job in installing our offense and getting uh, Owen up to speed. But uh, just looks a lot more comfortable uh, his second year here with us. Yeah, he does. And KD's having an all-state year. Before we let you go and get out for our first show, let's talk about Owasso. Your alma mater pulled off the big win over Bigsby Friday night. <laughs> Huge win for Coach Graham. Uh, they played extremely well. They are big and physical up front on offense. Uh, they got into some heavy sets and just ran right at uh, Bixby. Uh, but also have some really explosive receivers with some big catches downfield. Uh, defensively, uh, they're you know kind of an attack style. They're going to bring a lot of guys. Um, you never know where they're coming from, and um, they've they had uh, really good defensive line play up front. Yeah, it'll be a great game. Should be a great atmosphere. We encourage you to get out Friday night. Don't forget the clear bag policy uh, Friday coming into the game. 7:30 kickoff. Owasso and Jinx. And we'll see you then with the highlights next week. Give you the defensive starters when they get on the field. Jones back to pass on third and seven. Zips one over the middle. Stanford has it first down 30. Inside the 25 over the middle. Stanford comes up. Okay. Second down and 10 at the 23. Running play coming left. Jones is open. KD down the sideline. Has his first touchdown of the year on a 23-yard run around the left end near side. Jones, who looks a little more comfortable at quarterback in this season opener than he did a year ago. He's throwing the down to Dillard, catches it at the 10 and into the end zone. Touchdown on the post pass. And Prince doing a great job along with his staff. Here's a handoff. Left side, Mays, bust loose to the three and into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojan.